Perry Smith back with your City Spotlight show. In the studio with me is Frank Oviedo, our assi assistant city manager, and uh, Rick Gould, our director of Parks, Parks, Art, and Recreation, which can be a tongue twister, trust me. Uh, we're talking uh, just about some of the capital improvement projects that are coming in the pipeline for the city in the next uh, fiscal year, which just started in July. And the city is already underway on some, and it's just getting started next week on another one. Uh, Frank, we were just talking about that beforehand, the New Hall Roundabout. Um, I know the city has done extensive outreach on that, and it's gotten a lot of feedback. Uh, talk to me a little bit about you know why we're doing this, and uh, you know just kind of got us through that process. Uh, sure, uh, there's a lot of uh, positives to having a roundabout in that part of, uh, of of Newhall. One of them is traffic flow. We really want to be able to make sure that traffic gets in and out of that area. But uh, even uh, more important for, well, not more important, but one of the important uh, factors of putting that in there is that it also gets traffic into the main street of New Hall, uh, which is important from an economic development standpoint, making sure traffic's flowing through there. And an interesting feature of that particular project is that there's, we're incorporating art into it. And so, you know, it's uh, part of the, even the beautification of just generally of the city. And so, you know, between getting the traffic flowing better through uh, that part of town, getting people onto Main Street so they can experience uh, Old Town U-Haul, and then, you know, having the art, it really does a, a great job to, to make New Hall a, a premier part of the city. So, And I know the city's done a lot of work on um, just kind of upgrading that area and, and a lot of projects. You have the, the library right down sure. the street from there. What uh, what prompted the roundabout? We don't have a history of those here, and uh, so, you know, how did you guys decide that a roundabout would be the way to go? And, uh, you know... Well, you know, our traffic engineers are always evaluating what the best possible way to move traffic in and out of areas of town, and uh, this seemed to be one a solution that helps in that regard. It doesn't always work in every instance, but mm -hmm. where it does work, we want to be able to make sure that traffic flows properly, and in this case, it worked uh, from from all the traffic uh, evaluation that they looked at in that particular area. So, uh, you know, and it's it's you see that more common in Europe, and and where. Uh, you know, those have have used it know that they are very efficient in, in moving traffic because you you never stop the traffic; it's constantly moving in and out of the of the traffic circle. So it's in in some instances it's actually a, the preferred method of moving traffic in an area. Right, and talking to traffic engineers, I was just telling you on the on the break, you know, there t there tends to be a lot of uh, hesitation to adopt it, and then once once you actually get on the road and you start using them, it's it's like three to one in favor of just like why aren't we doing this all right? You know. Yeah, and, and it's it, that's part of it, is just getting used to a new way of moving traffic in and out of, of a particular area. Um, because they're not real common in the United States, uh, people's first has, uh, you know, they think about it first and they, they have some fear of it, and then once they use it, it's it's much better. Right. And, uh, you know, you, one thing you were mentioning, we, we do actually, that was, that was, I misspoke, Rick, we did, we did have a roundabout back in the day? Yeah, back in the 1930s, uh, new, old, old Town New Hall had a, had a roundabout in that location. And, okay, uh, interesting. Actually, yeah, we have a photo of it, uh, and it's fascinating. That was the way, uh, that was the preferred method of traffic back then. Granted, the cars were going a little slower, and <laughs> maybe not at the same volume, but sure. Uh, and there was a little, probably a little more horse traffic at that time. Yeah, in this right, area. could have been, could have <laughs> been. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and now, also, you had mentioned one thing that I thought was interesting was that um, there's going to be an arts element to it. Uh, right. and, and we're we're having uh, I, th I believe we're down to two choices now as far as what we're going to put um, as the centerpiece of this roundabout. That's right? correct. The Arts Commission has reviewed the uh, a number of artists. Uh, uh, renderings of what the the art will actually look like and that's still going through the process so it's not selected but yeah the it, ultimately at the end of the day there will be art as incorporated into uh, the roundabout now I don't want to get anyone in trouble are you guys allowed to, to give your preference beforehand or is that you know influencing the because uh, we have a Tatavian uh, a dedication to that that part of our history and then we have another a, a Western film reel um, that's kind of that part of the history so both aspects it looks like kind of you know uh, fittingly it seems like look at the history of this area well, I'm going to uh, go on record as saying that we'll let the process go okay, as enough. it's going to go. <laughs> fair enough. Smart, smart choice. Uh, and then, uh, so yeah, there's, that's going to be uh, affecting the area uh, for the next few months, though. There's going to be a little bit of uh, rerouting. That's correct. And it, there has been extensive, extensive outreach um, in, with the business community, with the residents from the area, and just generally so people uh, understand that there will be construction there for some period of time uh, while, the, while they're building the roundabout. But yeah, th what the engineers have done is created uh, alternative routes that uh, traffic can move traffic around New Hall in that particular area. So uh, we hope that that's going to alleviate some of the concerns. And my understanding uh, from the businesses in the area that the feedback has been primarily positive. Um, could you talk to me a little bit about what they're what they're saying and, and you know what what you've heard? Yeah, you know the 
because we've done so much outreach and we, we try to address all the concerns of the business community, yeah, there's been a lot of positive feedback from the, the businesses out there because uh, they know ultimately long term this will help bring uh, traffic, uh, you know, the traffic will flow better in, in, in Newhall and it'll ultimately bring more traffic into uh, Main Street, which is the bread and butter of those businesses, is making sure that people have easy access to their businesses. And yeah, and that's a perfect segue. We were just, I wanted to also talk about kind of the, the arts and film and the, the tourism aspect of it. Um, that's that's all going to help be a bigger draw for the area and um, you know historically that area has been in, involved in the in the filming and now uh, that area is kind of getting a little bit broader as far as um, you know we're bringing in more filming we just had a great we just released the numbers and our filming is up like something almost 10 more than 10 percent I, I forget what the actual figure was yeah it, yeah filming is obviously a, a big part of our economy out here and we want to continue to to foster that and make sure that it can it, 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 it goes unhindered and what are some of the other projects kind of on the horizon for the for the city well uh, you know one of the other big projects that it's actually under construction right now is uh, the the McBean park and ride it's right now where we have our transfer transfer station right there on uh, Valencia McBean is we're going to expand that to, to an additional 280 parking spots um, so some additional canopies for buses uh, we'll be able to get so residents can park their cars there get on a commuter bus go downtown or wherever their uh, final destination is for work uh, or otherwise and then be able to come back to this beautiful park and ride and that's going to make a big difference in terms of moving traffic uh, you know getting cars off the road it's um, in that time of the morning and what have you so that's another big project that we're excited about and then right up the street from there is the McBean bridge that bridge will also be widened as well to uh, help uh, relieve some congestion in that area as, uh, of, of the city as well awesome we'll talk a little bit about that process when we get back from our uh our break. Uh, this is the City Spotlight Show, and we'll be right back. This is your hometown station, AM 1220, KHTS.